Good morning folks, We're just on our normal morning coffee run after dropping the kids off at school But I need to get home now, edit up yesterday's video because normally I edit at night But uh, we're busy fixing Russell's car um, So we're gonna head home do some editing and then I've got to head out to see Mitch where Tiana's S15 is being painted We'll see the progress on that. I've got to drop a fresh rear bumper off because the one on it wasn't great uh, unfortunately couldn't find a Jap rear bumper, but we'll get uh, another fresh ADM bumper All right, so fresh coffee Need it after yesterday such a draining day as far as um, Mental capacity goes just stressfulness of booking events and um, Paying track hires and things like that the costs involved is just Phenomenal it's some of the things you don't think of until you run a business and then the amount of money That you can spend in a single day is actually incredible um, You know most of my life never thought I'd even have as much money as you have the potential to spend in a single day um, Especially when you're having to book uh, multiple events pay multiple deposits um, And things like that so oh man Business is scary, I'll tell you that much. Business is actually terrifying. And for the first couple of years, you really struggle and things are, um, you know, extremely rough. And I'll be honest, like me and my wife nearly bloody killed each other multiple times. Well, when I say multiple, probably hundreds of times realistically. So it's not an easy thing and definitely not everyone can do it. I think for me, almost like drifting's easier than um, the business that's for sure I could definitely drift far easier than it is to run run a business and I would say a lot of things in business are a lot scarier than just say a 200 plus entry stuff like that doesn't faze me in the slightest but yeah it's all part of the fun it's all part of the games you got to risk it for the biscuit as they say um, but yeah we'll get home I'll quickly edit up the video from yesterday um, Apologies, it was a, like I said, it was a day full of um, mostly work for us, but uh, we did get out there and try and give a red hot go, uh, straightening Russ's car. An update on that too, that is gonna go Friday, it's gonna go get pulled on an actual proper um, rack, so it'll get all pulled straight, straight-ish. Um, basically just enough so the doors will close properly. Um, and luckily that'll get sorted out thanks to another good friend of ours. So Russ will be out there on the weekend. Other than that, <clears throat> he's got a neon kit that he wants to fit for the night event um, that I gave him. So I have to buy another neon kit now because I want to put neons under my S13 for lols. Uh, just trying to think what else today. Oh yeah, we have the learner day on this afternoon, which I am always stoked about. It just makes me so happy to see new people in the sport and you're getting you're seeing people come off that off the track with that new buzz that like I linked two corners together that whole super excited you know I love that and you know being able to facilitate so people can have that good time it's yeah it's such a good feeling so anyway guys enjoy the day talk to you later on all right guys we are now on the way to Mitch's workshop we have the bumper in the car secured with a seat belt because the best thing about going to Mitch's workshop is we actually go via a place called Wyvernhoe Dam and we take a pretty cool road out there. Uh, so I'll try and get some footage for you guys um, outside the car and things like that. But it is, it's a really nice drive out there, so let's enjoy. Luckily, coming up to a passing zone, get past the truck. It's only doing sort of 10 or 20 k's, give or take, but it's all these rocks and stuff he's dropping.
Alright guys, we've made it out here to Kill Koi Smashing Customs. Uh, Mitch is in the booth right now, but when he comes out we'll have a look at the S15 and see where we're at. Oh, that's the S15 right there. I don't... Yeah, so he's spraying other stuff at the moment, but the S15's there in the booth. Um, so that's definitely cool. I'm really excited to see what the car ends up looking like and see where he's at now. So go and have a chat. Hi Mitch. Hi. <laughs> How's it going mate? Just throwing up the S15. Living the dream? Apparently. Apparently? Yeah, I need a better dream I reckon. <laughs> it's all coming up Mickey Mouse though? Yeah, pretty good. Fixing all your dents and stuff, so. Yeah, that door was a little bit ripply like you were saying. Yeah, it was actually extremely ripply. I put a fair bit of filler rack into it to get it smooth out a bit, but yeah, it's pretty good now, so. Yeah, sick. Let's go look. It's not finished yet, so. Yeah, obviously. I like the Gemini stuff. Another one of Mitchie's projects. What's the situation here, bud? Um, someone drove into it. Someone drove into it. You picked it up for a good price. Almost stole a, it. A good price. Almost stole it. Almost stole it. Yeah. Uh, and then you're obviously new quarter. Un, new quarter on, and you've got an SR waiting to go. Yeah. So just putting it in now. Mind all the shit everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's your new motor. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Sitting in there, ready to go. <laughs> Um, so this will be E85, 2871, Taz Motorsports, ceramic coated manifold, all the usual shit, 320 horsepower, be good for a burnout. Are you going to keep the, um, the two-tone? I don't know. Don't know? Don't know. You're liking the sparkles? I fucking can't stand sparkles at the moment, I've done that many sparkles, <laughs> I'm just off it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking kind of... Maybe BMW Pyrite Brown, possibly. If not, I'll just keep it nice and simple. Back to white over gold, best colour. See how we go. I'm not gonna lie, I like this two tone it is. That's not a fact. I'm pretty sure they never did so, a silver bottom. Yeah, no, it's actually, oh, okay. uh, it's actually got. Oh, it's got glitter in it. It's got pr <laughs> um, Prismatech, it's called. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit different. Yeah, I like that. So, That's a good well, touch. I mean, like for what it is, it's pretty clean for a dirty old S13. Yeah, um, standard cracky dash. Yeah, no big deal. Be good yeah. for a burnout, anyways. Absolutely. We allowed to run Darcy like this, mate. <laughs> well, yeah, technically. <laughs> technically, yes, as long as yeah. I have a muffler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does have a little tap on the other side. Oh, this is when I was my. getting it off my trailer just here. Oh, really? Yeah. So I have a bent cradle and stuff when it was crashed into. Oh, uh, okay. Cradle, so. so when it came off, it went sideways. Yeah, sideways and... straight into the thing. Oh, so this side was mint. Do you know anyone that can fix it? No, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately not. It's going to have to run it how it is. And I could probably fix that. Stick your hand in there and knock that out. <laughs> oh, well, the best thing about it, it's still got rego, so I'm ready to go again. Well, we just um, did all the body work on um, Russell's S14 last night. You wait to see the vlog to come out from yesterday. It's interesting to say the least we didn't quite get it out but russ copped a massive hit in the yeah, side I see that. both pillars are uh, bent in and stuff but we gave it a red eye go pulling it out oh it's just got oh it's bent the actual cradle as well yeah it's bent the cradle so that's why i got to replace the one yeah s14 or you just got another no, s13 just, just another s13 one yeah i mean everything else in it's s14 so i probably should have got an s14 one but have you seen the new i don't know if any of you guys have seen it either is the um Battleist have just brought out the e-lift so it fits onto s13 cradles and you can literally it's an electronic jack yes i have seen them before 
They're very cheap. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I probably don't drive enough to do something like that, though. Yeah, but how cool is it? You can just rock up to a set of lights and go... Rock up people. to a downshift, mate. Yeah. But um, that's something cool. He's working on the S14 ones at the moment, which sucks because I've obviously gone S14 rear end in mine, so I can't get the lift kit yet. And it kills me because I hate jacking up my freaking car. If I can just press a little button, uh, that's all me. Worst thing ever. Some more cars that Mitch has just done. Gemini. Four-door Gemini. Roll cage. Rotary down. Beautiful. I was gonna have a rotary? Yeah, sick. 13B, pre-fuel ported. All the usual shit goes off on Friday to get all the dip done, so. Yeah, nice. Off the uh, Hearts transmissions at Burf and Gary. Um, yeah, getting a serious bit of gear on it, so I think old mate's hoping for about 500 horsepower. So, yeah, very cool car. Be very cool once it's done. Um, if you're not from Australia, Gemini. Opal. Could it be Opal? Yeah, similar to the Opal Cadets um, in Europe, and I don't really think the US got anything like that. And then there's the bigger brother of the the Tirana. So again, any Aussies, 100% know what a freaking Tirana is. You see, okay. Worst Tirana ever made. Still, Mitch has laid down some coats on this one as well. Looks schmick. Oh yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, F, F truck in there. Just wish the owner wanted the bodywork done as well. Yeah, funny to spend the right amount of money. <laughs> 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 the right amount for him is not much. Yeah, not much. Cool truck, very cool colour scheme, but yeah. Sometimes the budget doesn't allow it, and sometimes the wife says no. They're, they're the ones you've got to watch out for when the wife says no. Body panels getting rubbed up at the moment. This bar come up all right? As far as, was it many imperfections? Oh, I think, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, MSD. Hmm. A cool sort of rat roddy car. It's actually running R33 uh, Skyline seats, uh, which is something different. Like that, interesting little setup there. Cool. The light holders here are actually pistons if you look closely. Piston and rings. That's so cool. All right, we're back down here at the track. Um, I've decided on an L2 layout. We're gonna keep it basic. So we're gonna start here from this line and essentially in the direction that Benk is going, we'll have an initiation point here leading to an outer clip, not right on the wall, obviously being L2 drivers, running to a late inner clip running out towards the guardrail but we don't want people hitting it and then we're going to switch back here we're going to run to the left so essentially the old school layout with a hard switch back right here heading to the right there'll be an sort of an inside apex there and they'll be switching back we expect guys to be door to door in this part of the track and then switching back for the final corner here and we'll expect the guys to basically push out and then straighten up at about this point here. And that will be our L2 layout. So I will now basically think up an L uh, Pro layout and we'll get it going. All right, guys, we have our Pro layout. We are gonna leave from this point. So we're leaving essentially from the Nico drop. We're gonna run backwards track lead car is going to have to initiate at this point to slide the corner uh, chase car can stay under grip the lead car we want to actually throw some slight angle here and then transition back hard at this point we want the chase car to initiate and then they'll run out they'll be close to an inner clip 
and they'll run out to an outer clip on the wall here. Obviously that barrier won't be there. It's at the hut, they'll come off. Then running a deep line, we want the lead car. At this point, running out nice and wide here to give room for the chase car. Flicking back nice and hard on the transition, staying away from that point, and then coming in for a final corner on the hairpin. Want guys to be as deep as possible here, and then a big blaze out. So we literally want them to blaze all the way out and they will finish. So that is gonna be our layouts for L2 and Pro, and it will be great. Um, we have run both these layouts in the past and they are very good layouts. The L2 one's obviously more basic. Uh, that's how we like it to be because we obviously want our L2 guys to sort of have an easier time. And then our pro layout is definitely a very, very committed layout. Um, coming into the outside wall especially, you've really got to be a very committed driver. Um, so hopefully everybody will be able to keep it clean and enjoy the layouts. But I think that'll be a lot of fun for this weekend. So all of our Queensland drivers, make sure you guys enjoy it and have a hell of a time. So nice NA R33 Skyline. I believe that's a CA Silvia. Old Chi Chi boy over there. Another silly lady, haven't seen this car here before. R32 driving in L2, and then another R33 Skyline as well. Another R33 coming through the gate now, so it should be a good night, guys. Um, keep you guys up to date with what's happening around here, but it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> matter what you'll always see Cheech out here giving it a go whether it's a beginner night a advanced night doesn't matter what it is he'll be out here hand stripping fitting tires and he'll get it underway actually I need to get down here one day when he's doing the hand stripping fits to show you guys what it's about this is his uh, son here and that's why I call him Cheech and Chol And that's like his third time out here, I believe. I've seen him out here. I'm not sure if he had any uh, prior practice, but he's definitely doing a hell of a job already. But that's another good one to see. Here we are messing up. So say the corner goes like that. Yeah. And then like that. You come around this corner fine, but you're going like that. When you're coming around here, aim that way before you switch. So literally right here, you want to almost point your car back towards the Land Rover and then switch. Because you coming out where you're coming out, you're not getting that switch. So see even there where your old man went across? So you've got to load the car up and then switch it back. Alright? So quite often we'll get our guys that are learning doing figure eights before they head out to sort of get their transitions down something we like to do basically get the guys learning their transitions but he's been coming it's Eduardo his name is he's been coming to nearly every event for the past oh, I'd say for the past two months he was started at a beginner days and he's been coming to like every event since and I think he wants to enter L2 this weekend so I really hope he does It'll be good he's been he's good enough for it so hopefully he will times you been now? Six. Six times? Six times, yeah. And second time in this car though? Yeah, second, third time in this car. Third time in this car. It's all running sweet tonight though? Yeah, tonight is good. Yeah. Hey mate. So that is her fifth, fifth night here at the park. Uh, she had a, well she still has an R32 Skyline but it was a street car and she broke her front bumper so she 
um, went and bought a track car, which is pretty good. And it's her fifth time out now, and she's doing pretty well. Uh, definitely good to see more chicks getting involved, as well as all the guys out here. So yeah, if you know anybody that does want to get into drifting and has their own car, they definitely should come out here. You don't need anything special, like perfect base, NAR33. You can drive it on your probational license, which is a big thing in Australia. But they have plenty of power to drift. Uh, and then you've obviously got you guys with your turbo R33s and turbo S14 and turbo R32. But then, you know, even your Aussie cars, there's no reason why you can't get out here and drift. Um, one thing a lot of people don't know is I actually learned in a VL Commodore, which was automatic, non-turbo, and didn't even have uh, a locked in or anything, is what I learned. In. Yeah, the Z. You. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to start jumping in some of the learner drivers myself and giving them a hand. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.